In this video, we will be studying about the domestic territory of a country. See, your domestic territory is also termed as your economic territory. So, your domestic territory or the economic territory is the geographic territory administered by government within which persons, goods, and capital circulate freely. Right? So, any income that you generate during an accounting year within the, this domestic territory of a country is known as domestic income which means that the factor income generated during an accounting year within the domestic territory of a country is called your domestic income. Any income that is generated within a Accounting year in your domestic territory of a country is your domestic income. So I hope you have understood the domestic territory and what is the domestic income. Now your domestic territory also includes some of the various areas that is the territory lying within the political frontier. including territorial waters of a country see there are various ports that are being made on the seas or on the coastal area so there are some areas or the boundaries that are called to be an Indian territory because we have taken that boundary in India so these are some of the uh, domestic territories that is included in the domestic territory second we have the ships and aircrafts operated by residents of the country across different parts of the world there is a company that is Air India this is an Indian company this is a company of the resident of the country so this is an Indian company if there is a Indian plane that is moving between Japan and Korea regularly and that Indian plane is a fixed 
timings and they carry the passengers of Japan and drop to Korea and the Korea to Japan but that airlines is an Indian airline that is the in Air India airline in that case any income generated will be a domestic income right third is fishing vessels oils and natural gas rings and floating platforms operated by the resident of country in the international waters or engaged in extraction in areas in which the country has the exclusive right of exploitation. So if the fishing boats operated by the Indian fishermen go into the international waters and bring the fishes and they sell the fishes in the country, in that case the income generated will be the domestic income. The fourth we have if embassies consulates and military establishments of the country located abroad. Located abroad. If we have Indian embassy in the USA, then it is a part of domestic territory of India. The embassy of USA in India is a part of domestic territory of USA. So if we have the Indian embassies in the rest of the world in the different countries, in that case the income generated from the Indian embassy will be the domestic, will be treated as a domestic territory and will be the domestic income. I hope you like your video. Please download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.